Hello, dear friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another wonderful Shakespeare's Coffee Break. I am your friendly neighborhood Shakespeare, and I am on my coffee break. We're going to sort things off with a nice noisy slurp right now. Which is good internet audio, I don't care who you are. Uh, it's going to be an amazing and wonderful show today. As you saw from the title card, we are giving the show over today to Lena Chilingari and the Shakespeare Yogi. We're going to be doing yoga for the actor and everyone else. And it's going to be an absolute wonderful, healthy, and uh, good learning time. I have some other fantastic students here. Fan of the show, Cheryl, is joining us. Friend of the show, uh, Mel Z of the Spice Girls is also joining us. <laughs> and uh, she's gonna be on. And uh, it's going to be a really good time. Um, and uh, I encourage all of you watching at home to join us with yoga, whether you're doing it in a chair, on the floor, you have your yoga set up all ready to go, whatever you need to do, join in. It's going to be a great and good time. Before we start the show though, um, proper, I do uh, want to pay some bills. So first up, um, also by the way, thank you to the Jack Dolls for providing our theme song, Shakespeare Proves of this theme song. And let's get into the ads right quick. Today's show is brought to you by friends of the Colorado Northwestern Field Museum. They're leading a dinosaur dig this summer, now accepting applications. Now, while many people only dream of taking part in a dinosaur excavation through Colorado Northwestern Community College, that dream can become a reality. Located in the heart of dinosaur country, CNCC offers you the chance to work alongside professional paleontologists to uncover fossils that have been buried for over 74 million years. Doing a two week session, you'll learn about paleontology by digging, brushing and uncovering a unique fossilized specimen. There's no experience required to take advantage of this amazing opportunity. Only a passion for experiencing fossils up close and personal. For more information, uh, get in contact with the Friends of the Colorado Northwestern Field Museum um, by going to the link currently on your screen or email Liz Johnson at elizabeth.johnson at cncc.edu or call 970-824-1119 for more information. So go check them out. Also, today's show is brought to you by the lady leading this class today, the Shakespeare Yogi. And you can use code SHAKES.APPROVED to save 50% on your first private class. Now, Lena Chilingari and the Shakespeare Yogi helps creatives develop authentic connection to balance and character by combining Shakespeare and yoga, accessibly and playfully. She offers virtual pay what you can classes, and those are available over Zoom on the first and third Sundays of the month at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Recommended $5 donation, and all creatives of any kind are welcome. Virtual private lessons are available by appointment, and they are built to your individual needs and goals as the individual creative. Virtual private lessons are valued at $50 and use code SHAKES.APPROVED for a 50% discount. For access and payment to info to the pay what you can in private lessons, I want you to email Lena, the Shakespeare Yogi, at uh, the Shakespeare Yogi at gmail.com or drop into her DMs at Instagram at the Shakespeare Yogi. And uh, as I uh, bring, uh, take that off of the screen, um, yesterday I said slide into her DMs and that sounded a little bit sketchy. And so I apologize for that. I apologize to everyone involved ever. <laughs> also, please, uh, friends, go and uh, follow uh, the Renaissance Stream Guide. The Renaissance Stream Guide uh, is your TV guide of Renaissance Festival entertainers, performers, uh, setting up the streams. So everything from me to Chase Treasure to Digital Renfair and Life's Affair and everyone in between. Hopefully uh, Lena is getting uh, the Shakespeare Yogi in there too. So go check it out. Like and subscribe. Um, I gave you Twitch, but I actually meant to give you that one. Facebook.com slash Renaissance Stream Guide. Go check it out. But now uh, guys, gals, non-binary gingerbread pals, Let's uh, bring on uh, our reason for the season, Lena Chilingarian at the Shakespeare Yogi. Hello! Hello, Yay! how are you today? I am so well. I'm really happy to be here. Thanks for having me again. Absolutely. And I would like everyone, if you um, would like to uh, tip your Shakespeare Yogi, you can go to Venmo at Lena Chilingarian. It's going to remain at the bottom of your screen the entire time. 
So uh, let me put you over here because you are the teacher and I am your student today. So um, would you like to give a, an explanation before we begin? Sure, yes. Today we're going to do a physical exploration of some text from Midsummer Night's Dream, which will be on the screen for you when the time comes. Uh, we will mainly be going through a vinyasa style yoga class, but it is important to me, oh, there it is, there's the text. It's important to me to make sure that uh, this is as accessible to all creatives of all types. So we will, uh, I, I encourage you to use blocks uh, to bring the ground towards you if you need it. Uh, if you don't have blocks, do what I do. Um, I take big books and I put rubber bands around them to keep them sturdy and I use them as blocks. Uh, pillows are good, blankets if you want to pad your knees, absolutely. And if you need to take a resting pose, go into a child's pose, breathe, and just keep on breathing with the class. We're not here to eye of the tiger ourselves to death. We're here to explore a character using yoga to get us into the movement. That's what's happening. <laughs> so that's, that's the main ex explanation. Are we ready to start? Let's do. So we have, as our um, as our fellow students, we have um, Melissa L. E. Baker um, of Chaste Treasure and the New Jersey Renaissance Fair. And we also have Cheryl Ainsley, frequent watcher of the show. Thank you both for um, joining the class today. We're going to have a great and good time. Um, I'm going to mute myself now and I'll actually just uh, mute on all three of us. So... Uh, mm -hmm. Um, here we go. So, Lena, take it over, uh, and uh, tell me. And Lena, tell me what you would like uh, to be um, to be done first. Here, uh, I would like to be large. There, yeah, so you can see me. Great. All right. To begin, let's start by building one of our home poses: Tadasana, or mountain pose, or if you're artsy, actor neutral. Come to a standing position and take a look at your feet. Either bring them together or let them be hip distance apart, whichever makes you feel more balanced and grounded. Either way, lift your toes, spread them, and try and put them down one toe at a time. Ah, oh, yes, that's something I'm still working on too. Lean forward and back and side to side, Try and find the spot where you are balanced on all four corners of the feet. The big toe knuckle, the little toes, the inside of the heel, and the outside of the heel. When you're there, lift in the arches of your feet. Micro bend the knees and lift the kneecaps. Draw the tailbone down towards the heels and the lower abdomen in and up. Let the heart lift and shine open with the shoulders and upper back broad. Reach your arms out to the side to illustrate that and stretch in opposite directions. Feel that broadness? Good. Keep that going as you drop your arms down with a little pull towards the ground in your fingertips. Draw the jaw back slightly so that the ears are over the shoulders. And imagine a little string at the top of your head lifting you towards the sky. And breathe. Welcome to Tadasana, or actor neutral. The idea is that all your muscles are a little bit engaged to hold you up. Great. We'll return to Tadasana many times today. Another home pose we need to build is downward facing dog. So come onto your mat, onto hands and knees. Make sure that the creases of your wrists are parallel to the top of your mat. We won't be on our knees for long here. Once your creases are parallel, tuck your back toes, lift the heels, uh, lift the hips, I should say, and press back into downward facing dog. All right, building downward facing dog here. Just like our feet were balanced on all four corners in Tadasana, so are our hands pressing into the ground. Allow the shoulders to be away from the ears. Lift the hips towards the sky and draw the lower belly in and up. 
If you can't get your heels down to the ground, just step your feet in a little bit. It's fine. Who's going to come for you? The yoga police? No such thing. You good. With the lower belly drawn in towards the spine, lift the chest a little bit towards the spine as well. Without curling the back, we're trying to make the back straight. Rotate the arms inward towards the ears. Aha. And rotate the inner thighs back towards the back wall. And breathe. Bring your gaze towards your navel. And this is our downward facing dog. We'll return here many times. For now, inhale, bend the knees and walk your feet to your hands. Allow your feet to be hip distance apart. Bend the knees, rest your upper torso on your thighs and just hang there for a moment. Relax and release the back. Take a nice swing gently from side to side. Come to center. Nod your head gently, yes. Shake your head gently, no. And shake your head, maybe, because it's okay to not have all the answers. On a nice inhale, roll up very slowly, one vertebra at a time until you are in Tadasana at the top of your mat. Hey, we've been here before. All right, let us begin. Take a nice inhale, lift your hands up, palms touch above your head. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back, put your hands on your shins. Exhale, plant your palms and step back into a plank. Creases parallel with the top of the mat. Inhale here, exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, slide forward for a little cobra. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. We'll stay here for five breaths. Inhale, exhale, release the jaw. One, inhale, exhale, shoulders away from ears. Two, inhale, exhale, lower belly in. Three, inhale, exhale. Four, inhale, exhale. Five, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, walk up to your hands, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reverse swan dive, palms touch over your head and bring your hands to heart center. Hey, welcome back to Tadasana. Right here, stay where you are. I'm gonna to turn to face you. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Set an uplifted intention for your practice today. Dedicate your practice to a person or a cause that you wanna send good energy to. Hmm. Inhale, exhale on a hum. Mm. One more, inhale, exhale, hum. Mm. Return to regular breath. Let's do another sun salutation. We're warming ourselves up. Make sure our body is nice and limber. Inhale, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, nice tabletop, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank. Inhale here, exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, little cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths, inhale, exhale. One, inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, release the jaw. Three, inhale, exhale. Four, inhale, exhale. 
five. Bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, walk up to meet your hands, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring your thoughts back to your intention. Who did you dedicate your good energy to today? Good stuff. Moving on. Inhale, this time sit back to a chair pose. Ooh, that's exciting. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, little cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, inhale, step the right foot between the hands, spin the back heel down, and rise up for a very first warrior one. Nice. Exhale. Step back to downward facing dog, making some heat. Inhale, step the left foot forward, spin the back heel down, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to downward facing dog, catching our breath here. Inhale. Exhale, one, inhale, exhale, spin the arms in, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, relax the neck, four, inhale, exhale, five, bend the knees, look forward, inhale, feet to hands, half lift, Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to chair pose. Exhale, rise to Tadasana, hands to heart center. Nicely done. Good job. All right. We're going to learn our standing sequence today that we're going to use for our uh, monologue. We'll do it in depth first. So inhale, rise up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. Staff pose. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot between the hands. Spin the back heel down. Rise up to warrior one. All right, we're going to stay here for a little bit. I'm going to turn so you can see me. Take a look at your front knee. Is it right over your heel and ankle? Good. If you find your knee bowing in, activate the outside muscles of the thigh to draw it over your ankle. If you notice it splaying out, activate the inner thigh to bring it in. You want the knee to be right in line with your foot and no further than your heel and ankle. And make sure the hips are square to the front. If you need to adjust your back heel so that you can bring your hips square, do so. Shoulders away from ears, arms above the head. Just like in Tadasana, our lower back, our, our tailbone is drawing towards the heel and our feet are grounded in the earth. Great, nice inhale here. Exhale, bring the arms behind the back, clasp hands. And inhale, stretch the arms back, lifting the heart. Inhale, straighten the bent knee. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the knee. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale here. Exhale, bend at the hips for humble warrior. Inhale, exhale, nicely done. Inhale, exhale, release the jaw. Inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, release the hands, plant them on the mat, straighten the front leg. Prepare for standing splits. Inhale, hop the front, uh, hop the back foot up a bit, and take stock. If you need your blocks for your hands to bring the earth to you, grab them now. 
I'll grab mine to show you what I mean. Boop, my complete works of William Shakespeare. We. So from here, we're gonna take a nice inhale and we're gonna lift the back foot up off the ground, reaching our toes towards the sky. If this is where you are today, magical. If you don't have books or a block, grab a chair. You want something that can bring the earth to you. If you don't need the blocks, make sure you're not collapsing in your hands. Release the neck and breathe. Inhale, bring the toes back down to the ground for a moment. Exhale, lift them to the sky. Inhale, drop the toes, take stock. Exhale, toes to sky. Inhale, stay here a moment. Exhale, bring the foot all the way down and press back into downward facing dog. I'm gonna spin back around to the top of my mat. Whee! <laughs> Nicely done. All right, inhale here. Exhale. Good, another inhale. Exhale. Moving on. Inhale, step the left foot between the hands. Spin the back heel down, come up for warrior one. Building it on this side now. Where's your knee? In line with your foot and above your heel? Good. Hip square to the front. Adjust the back heel if you need. Tailbone towards the heel and shoulders away from ears. Inhale, exhale. One, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, bring the arms behind you, clasp hands. And inhale, stretch the heart to the sky. Inhale, straighten the front knee, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Hold here, inhale, exhale, hinge at the hips for humble warrior. Inhale here, exhale, release the jaw. Inhale, exhale, nice, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, release the hands, bring them to your mat. Prepare for standing splits. Grab your blocks if you need them or a chair if you need to bring the earth to you. Nice inhale here. Exhale, lift your toes towards the sky. Take stock of where you are. You might be different on this side. Inhale, bring the toes to the ground. Exhale, lift them to the sky. Inhale, toes to the ground. Exhale to the sky. Inhale, stay here a moment. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, and exhale, drop the foot, plant the palms, press back to downward facing dog. Catch your breath, inhale, exhale. Well done, inhale, exhale. Inhale, Exhale. Bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, walk your feet to your hands, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, palms touch. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Oh yes, my warriors, well done. We're gonna move through the flow now. Come back to your breath. With the breath, moving us from one pose to the other. It'll be moving a little bit faster now, or, well, not faster, but certainly more fluid. All righty, take a deep breath here. Exhale. Off we go. Inhale, rise up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Plank, inhale here, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, little cobra, 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward, spin the back heel down, lift to warrior one. Exhale, arms behind, palms clasped. Inhale, lift the heart to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. Inhale, release the hands, prepare. Exhale, lift the toes to the sky. Inhale here, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, drop the foot, plant the palms, downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale, release the jaw. Inhale, and exhale. Moving on. Inhale, left foot between the hands, spin the back heel down, lift, warrior one. Exhale, arms behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, release the hands, prepare. Exhale, lift the feet, lift the toes towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, release the jaw. Inhale, exhale, toes down, plant palms downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then the knees look forward, inhale, feet to hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Oh yes. All right. Grab your water and come to your camera so that we can chat for a moment. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen next. So. We're here to work on some text today. First of all, most importantly, how are we doing? Okay. You're doing great. You're still here. Wonderful. Now, I want you guys to watch me one time. I'm going to show you how we'll be moving through the text with the movement. If we could have the text and me on screen so that people can follow along. That'd be smashing. I just want you to watch me this time, okay? We'll do it on both sides. One side will be different from the other to allow for different discoveries to be made. Alrighty? Just watch me one time. Here we go. Over hill, over dale, thorough bush, thorough briar. Over park, over pale, thorough flood, thorough fire. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere. And I serve the fairy queen to dew her orbs upon the green. I must go seek some dew drops here and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Farewell, thou lob of spirits. I'll be gone. Our queen and all her elves come here and on. We'll take an inhale and exhale here. Another inhale and an exhale. And moving on. Over hill, over dale, thorough bush, thorough briar. Over park, over pale, thorough flood, thorough fire. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere, and I serve the fairy queen to dew her orbs upon the green. I must go seek some dewdrops here and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Farewell, thou love of spirits. I'll be gone. 
our queen and all her elves come here anon. So that is the plan. Now we'll do it together. You guys can stay muted. We'll do it together. I'll move you through it and walk you through it on both sides. And then it'll be your time to play. We'll all be able to stay muted. I will keep watch to make sure that safety alignment things are still happening. After that, we'll come back. We'll chat, see if you made any discoveries. If not, that's cool. We'll move into our back bends, et cetera. Ready to try it together? Let's try it. All right. Starting in Tadasana. Here we go. Arms up over hill. Swan dive over dale. Half lift, thorough bush. Plank pose, thorough briar. Over park, over pale. Knees, chest, chin, thorough flood. Cobra, thorough fire. Down dog, I do wander everywhere. Warrior one, swifter than the moony sphere. Arms behind, and I serve the fairy queen. Humble warrior, to dew her orbs upon the green. Release hands, prepare. I must go seek some dew drops here. Lift the toes and hang a pearl in every cow's lips ear. Farewell, thou lob of spirits. I'll be gone. Down dog, our queen and all her elves come here anon. All right, meet us here, catch your breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Moving on, warrior one, over hill, back heel down, over a dale. Up, thorough bush, arms behind, thorough briar. Heart up, over park, humble warrior, over pale. Prepare, thorough flood, thorough fire. Toes up. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere, and I serve the fairy queen to do her orbs upon the green. I must go seek some dewdrops here, down dog, and hang a pearl in every cow's lips ear. Bend the knees, look forward. Farewell, thou lob of spirits. I'll be gone, half lift. Forward fold, our queen. Rise up and all her elves. Hands to heart, come here anon. You made it. Alrighty. Now then, this is your time. Go ahead and keep yourself muted if you like. Move through the text and the movement. You may find that a particular pose sits really well with you and you want to stay there for a few lines. Go for it. If you make a discovery that's different than what I've suggested, that's, that's lovely. That's good. Explore it. Again, I will keep watch. You go ahead and explore. And if you have any questions, just ask me. Okay. Lana, uh, would you be yes. able to uh, narrate it uh, for us again one more time as we go through it? Sure, sure. Do you want me to do the moves as well? Um, I, either doing it or just telling us uh, which uh, to do. Um, your your choice on that. Sure, I will. I will lead you uh, from from here. I'll just say it. Okay, is that working? Great. All right. Beginning in Tadasana. <sighs> Arms up over hill. Swan dive over dale. Half lift, thorough bush. Plank pose, thorough briar. Over park, over pale. Knees, chest, chin, thorough flood. Cobra, thorough fire. Down dog, I do wander everywhere. Warrior one, swifter 
than the moon's sphere. Arms behind, and I serve the fairy queen, humble warrior, to dew her orbs upon the green. Plant palms prepare. I must go seek some dew drops here, toes up, and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Farewell, thou lob of spirits. I'll be gone, our queen, and down dog, and all her elves come here anon. Catch your breath, inhale, exhale, release the jaw, inhale, exhale. You guys are great. Moving on, step the foot forward, over hill, spin the back heel down, over dale, warrior one. Thorough bush, arms behind, thorough briar. Hearts up, over park. Humble warrior, over pale. Prepare, thorough flood, thorough fire. Toes up, I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere. And I serve the fairy queen to do her orbs upon the green. Down dog, I must go seek some dew drops here and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Feet to hands, farewell thou love of spirit. Half lift, I'll be gone. Forward fold, our queen. Rise up, palms touch, and all her elves, hands to heart, come here anon. Beautiful. All right, if you wanna move through the poses on your own now at your own pace, feel free. And if you have any other questions, let me know. Lena, I am so very sorry. Could you could you just tell me the no, poses again? Of course I can. Of course I can. No sorries here. You do not need to be sorry. All righty. You ready? Arms up over hill. Forward fold over dale. Half lift, thorough bush. Forward fold, thorough briar. Plank pose over park, over pale. Knees, chest, chin, thorough flood. Cobra, thorough fire. Downward dog, I do wander everywhere. Warrior one, swifter than the moon's sphere. Arms behind, and I serve the fairy queen. Humble warrior, to dew her orbs upon the green. Prepare, I must go seek some dew drops here. Toes to sky and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Farewell, thou love of spirits. I'll be gone, our queen, down dog, and all her elves come here anon. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Moving on. Warrior one, over hill, over dale. Arms behind, thorough bush, thorough briar. Humble warrior, over park, over pale. Prepare, thorough flood, thorough fire. I do wander everywhere, toes up. Swifter than the moon's sphere, and I serve the fairy queen to dew her orbs upon the green. I must go seek some dew drops here, downward dog, and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Feet to hands, farewell, thou lob of spirits. Half lift, I'll be gone. Forward fold, our queen. Rise up and all her elves, hands to heart, come here anon. 
Yay. All righty. Why don't we come together and have a chat? Unless you guys would like some more time, do it out loud for yourself. If you're if you want to chat, grab your water, grab your coffee. Give me your faces. Hi, faces. All righty. You can unmute yourselves. And uh, were there any discoveries that you made either in the text or in how your body and the text connected or just any discovery at all? Would help if I looked at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I particularly liked the um, moves on both sides, specifically on the second run through with uh, I Serve the Fairy Queen. Mm. I, I thought the bend with that uh, worked very, very nicely. Great. Yeah, I like that one. When I was first putting it together, I kept trying to force and I serve the fairy queen to be perfectly on Humble Warrior. And it, it'll, it, it naturally makes sense to go into it right around there. But when I stopped trying to force it, I found that those moves and those lines just they naturally complemented each other, whether they landed there or not. Any other thoughts? Was there a line that you found particularly goofy or that just didn't, didn't make sense to you or didn't land for you? Cool. How about a line that you really liked? Um, I mean, for me, I think uh, anything that was involved with looking and looking around, mm -hmm. like over this direction and over this direction, a lot of the movement lended itself to physically looking around the space as you were doing stuff. Grand. Oh, that's a lovely discovery. Um, through uh, for the for the first uh, for the first run through um, through flood through fire when we're going into uh, baby cobra on mm. that. I love that. Through flood, yes. through fire. <laughs> I thought that was. I thought. I thought that was particularly fun. Lovely. Yes, I, I thought. I it would, would be love nice to, to see this on stage. Fire. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? I would love to see this on stage. Oh right. <laughs> um, is there a move that made you feel particularly connected to the text? I mean, aside from humble warrior fitting that I serve the fairy queen bit. I mean, I think just any of the bowing motions, anytime we went into like a downward facing dog because we're constantly referencing a queen, the fact that you're constantly moving forward, like even though you're looking around and you're doing a lot of engaging with the space, whenever you reestablish like, but I'm an underling and I don't need this kind of thing is uh, really powerful to me. I, oh, cool. I, Go on. I, I I thought also the almost balletic move of the toes up in the air, uh, which was around, uh, at least the second run through on, hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Mm -hmm. um, if for the sake of argument, like you, we were only doing it once and we were combining the two things, that almost felt like, and hang, and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. It's almost like you would do that, uh, uh, be one on one side and then the other. And I thought oh, that was, I thought that was particularly fun. That is so fun. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. We've got, we, ha we have individual fairies growing here. This is, this is the <laughs> whole point. <laughs> and you know what? This is the first time that we're exploring this piece with these movements. It doesn't, wee, wee. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to not backlight myself. <laughs> So, so that means that you're not going to discover your whole character necessarily in the first go through. This is table work. You know, when you're when you're first working on a show and you guys are at the table and you're first going through it, things begin to become clear. But really, it's a foundation. From there, you can start all on the same page and then you build your individual character that still fits in the universe that you're all creating together. So this is this is very exciting. Even if it was just to activate the muscle with the text, I'm very proud and pleased. Any other thoughts? 
All righty, let's have a nice little back bend and forward bend sequence, and then we will have our final resting pose, dessert of yoga. All righty, go ahead do you and leave yourself again. Do you want me to hmm? leave a script on screen? Nah, you can, you can bring me back. Cool. Right toe. Beginning in Tadasana, we'll move into our back bend sequence. And off we go. Inhale, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Now we're going to stay in cobra for a little bit. Bring the back, bring the toes together and press the tops of the feet into the ground. Just like in Tadasana, draw the tailbone towards the heels and lift the lower belly in and up. Using only the muscles in the back to lift the heart off the ground. Elbows in towards the body. Keep breathing. You should be able to lift your fingertips off the ground. Spirit finger. <laughs> Inhale here. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, slide the hands forward, bringing the elbows under the shoulders. Allow the feet to separate a little bit. Bend the right knee, bringing your heel towards your glute. Adjust the left hand to keep your balance. Reach the right hand back and take hold of the bent ankle, or the bent knee's ankle. Still drawing the tailbone down, and shoulders away from ears. Having a nice little modified frog pose here. Nice inhale, exhale, continue to breathe. Release the ankle, bring your hands back to center. Bend the left knee. Adjust for balance with the right hand. Reach the left arm back to take hold of the left ankle. Breathe here in your lovely modified frog. Shoulders away from ears. Release that, bring the palms to the ground, and press up to all fours. Grab your blocks, and maybe also a blanket. Place the block between your feet. We're going to have a nice modified hero's pose, bringing the ground to us with our bolsters here. Bring the knees together and allow the feet to be separate on either side of your supports and gently sit back. If you find you need more padding to lift the floor to you, grab it, that's good. We're not trying to overdo the knees here. We're trying to be nice and comfy. In your hero's pose, allow the eyes to close, lay the hands on the thighs, and breathe. We are each the hero of our own story. And so we must advocate for our character. Whether we know we are playing the villain or the heroine or even the unspeaking servant role. We advocate for our character. If 
If we were not important in the story, we would not be there. And a real hero knows when it is time to take center stage and when it is time to direct focus to somewhere else on stage for the betterment of the story. Today, we were warriors. We are now heroes. We've been a snake, a frog, a dog, but all that time we have been our fairy character, rooted in ourselves, unique and authentic. Allow the eyes to flutter open, come up onto the knees, remove your supports, Plant the hands and sit back into downward facing dog. We'll move into our forward bends. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, lift the right toes toward the sky, just like in splits. Bend the knee and bring the knee between the hands. If this is where you are, I'm going to spin around so you can see me. Whee! If this is where you are, Lovely. Press the top of the back foot into the ground. Perhaps you can even adjust the ankle so that your uh, lower leg is parallel to the top of the mat. If not, no problem. That is all good. Either way, try and square the hips forward, lift the heart, and then fold forward over the bent knee. Elbows under shoulders or arms extended along the floor, whichever is available for you today. And breathe. Inhale, walk the palms back to lift the torso, spin around. Face your back foot. Hi, back foot. Square the hips towards the back foot. Right knee still bent. Lift the heart and fold forward, reaching the heart towards the foot. Look down at your knee. Say hi to your knee. Hi, knee. Yes, I'm very mature. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is good. Don't take it so seriously. It's just yoga. Nice big inhale. Exhale, walk the hands back to lift the torso and open up the hips towards the front. <laughs> Inhale here, exhale, slide the left hand along the ground, reach the right arm up and over. If it is available to you, reach down towards your toes. It may not be available today, that's fine. If it is available to you, reach the left hand to your bent knee, press it into the earth. Ooh, hello, lower back. That should allow for an opening of the lower back. Shoulders away from ears. Very nice. Inhale, rise up. Bring your hands back to the top of the mat. I'll spin around to keep it all correct. Lena, I feel like you have lost your uh, sound. Oh no, can you hear me? Oh, oh, no. oh did I? <laughs> Go ahead. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you now. I'm so sorry. That was just on my side. <laughs> <laughs> and press back into downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. Inhale, lift the left toes up to the sky. Like before, bend the knee between the hands. 
Press the top of the back foot into the earth. See where your shin is today, but make sure that this front foot is flexed to protect the knee. Wherever you find yourself, lift the heart to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over the knee. Elbows under shoulders or arms fully extended along the ground. And breathe. Walk the hands back, lift the torso, spin around, wave to your back foot. Square the hips to the back of the mat, left knee still bent, heart to the sky, fold forward over this knee. If you can reach, give your knee a kiss. Mwah! If you have to blow your knee a kiss, do it. Thank you, body, for being here today. Thank you, body, for everything you showed me, for going on this journey with me. Thank you, body. Be kind to your body. It holds you up. It works hard. Inhale, walk the hands back to lift the torso and open up the hips to the front. Inhale and exhale, slide on down. If you can reach the toes, give your toes a squeeze. If you can press the knee back, let it sink into the earth. Either way, breathe and release the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, rise up and plant the palms. Press back into downward facing dog. Drop the knees to the mat, cross the ankles, and roll yourself onto your back. It's time for our final resting pose, the dessert of yoga, Shavasana. For Shavasana, the idea is to be completely rested. So if you would like, grab a pillow, place it under your knees, Get another pillow, place it under your head. Grab a blanket, put it over your body because in a resting pose, the body temperature will drop and you just wanna be as comfortable as possible. You go ahead and rest. I will keep watch. I will stand sentinel as it were. And in the beginning of our Resting pose, I'll lead you through a guided meditation and then we'll have a song to close us out. Or we'll have the song first, that's fine.
Stay here in your final resting pose. Bring your awareness to your toes and repeat after me. Toes, relax. Feet, relax. Ankles, relax. Lower legs, relax. Knees, relax. Thighs, relax. Hips, relax. Lower back, relax. Lower abs, Relax. Upper abs, relax. Mid back, relax. Heart, relax. Upper back, relax. Hands, relax. Lower arms, relax. Upper arms, relax. Shoulders, relax. Throat, relax. Jaw, relax. Tongue, relax. Face, relax. Forehead, relax. Scalp, relax. Inhale and allow that inhale to wash over you. Fully surrender into the earth. Exhale. Allow the earth to hold you up. Know yourself to be fully safe. Fully supported. And fully loved. Inhale, begin to wiggle your toes and fingers, reacquaint them with movement. Start to encourage movement back into the rest of your body and roll over onto your right side. In a nice little curled up position. With as little effort as possible, lift yourself up to a seated position, facing each other. 
Allow the eyes to be closed for a moment. We'll take two breaths together and then close with an ohm. Inhale, exhale together. Inhale together, exhale together. Inhale, exhale, ohm. Oh. Feel those vibrations you just created. Allow the eyes to flutter open. Bring the hands to heart center. Namaste. Thank you very much, guys. Good and job. Thank, and thank you to Lena Chilingarian, the Shakespeare yogi, um, for everyone who did this with us at home. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you'd like to show some gratitude in a fiscal way, because, you know, we live in a capitalist society, please go to Venmo at Lena hashtag, I mean, yeah, at Lena dash Chilingarian. So L E N A dash C-H-I-L-I-N-G-E-R-I-A-N. -I -I so you, your name is a Game of Thrones name. I just gotta say that, Chilingarian. <laughs> it's like the Chilingarian dynasty is gonna be taking over. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> on, tomorrow on Shakespeare's Coffee Break, uh, we're going to have Chef Patrick Kennedy. Uh, so we are really doing well for ourselves this week. It's self-care week, it seems to have become. So this is a great thing. Um, again, thank you to Lena, thank you to Melissa, thank you to Cheryl uh, for joining us all uh, in class today. Until tomorrow, uh, I love you, you love me, there's mutual glorious satisfaction. Remember, you are the hero of your own story. Cheers, bye-bye now. <laughs>